My name is Richard Samworth. I work at the University of Cambridge. Uh, this program is on statistical scalability. Uh, it is really about uh, modern statistical methods and the idea that uh, these days it's so easy to collect and store data on huge, previously unimaginable scales, and that means there's a colossal demand uh, from both science and industry for new techniques that can uh, process this, these uh, huge quantities of, of data. So I'm John Aston, uh, also from the University of Cambridge, and I think this is really timely in the sense that big data is now synonymous in areas across the world. Uh, but it also, it also is revealing new mathematics and new statistics and new sort of interdisciplinary applications that really are driving the forefront of the science as well. So it's this really nice blend of having really sort of profound implications for the data that we're seeing being generated across the world, but also generating new scientific discovery and really making the, the area one of the most hot and sort of growing areas uh, in maths and science in general. I'm Pauline Lowe from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, um, and since we just started the program, it's a little bit early to be predicting what challenges we'll face, but we think that one of them will be just trying to get the participants to collaborate, especially those who are meeting for the first time and might come from several different fields. So in order to face this, we are having weekly seminars um, twice a week and trying to encourage collaboration with discussions um, in the afternoon afterwards. Um, and just because we have lots of participants coming and going, um, we're trying to keep the enthusiasm up um, during the workshops as well as in the weeks in between. We're also having a, a two Turing Gateway for Mathematics events uh, that will help us connect with uh, industry and, and um, other uh, sectors that, that use data very intensively. Uh, the first one of those is scheduled for the 28th of February. And I think it is worth pointing out just how wide a set of disciplines we're trying to attract. We've got mathematics and statistics, quite obviously, but also computer science, electrical engineering, uh, disciplines from within application areas as well, all of which are feeding into the program. So that's going to be, make it really exciting, but also quite challenging to bring those people together. I think it's almost hard to think of an application where this field couldn't have an impact. Uh, Big data is now driving applications from everything from energy, medicine, the automotive industry, look at autonomous vehicles. Everything has got a, a data aspect, and it's that use of data and understanding the vast quantities of data that we're getting and how you actually turn that into real impact and real insight into the data that you have that allows the applications to then move further forward. So I think we will see that applications, say, in medicine and medical imaging, where we can be looking at how the vast quantities of data that come out of some of our medical imaging machines, such as MRI and brain imaging systems, can be used to really understand the brain. We can then turn that same kind of ideas into looking at applications where we're trying to look at network fraud detection, for example, and trying to understand the changes that happen in uh, fraud detection and trying to use that to find autonomous systems that detect it early and often without having the sort of false positives that drive everybody mad when you keep being told that you're, there's some fraudulent activity on your credit card, and of course there isn't. So producing sort of underlying statistical methodology that allows you to really um, address those questions will filter into all sorts of applications across, across the sort of gamut of things that people are interested in. Yeah, I think one of the things that makes this area so exciting is the fact that the, uh, there are tremendous mathematical statistical challenges uh, from a theoretical point of view um, but it's so clear that the, uh, the problems are very much driven by applications as well. I think that's also a reason for these open for business um, meetings because what we'll have is a combination of academics talking about the work they're doing, um, including applications they're already involved in, and people from local industries who are talking about the types of problems that they have that could benefit from some methods in big data.